may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, sir. That's because we're partners. <laughs> partners? Sam, a baby's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware. Becoming an actual child. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose it cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment, to put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this will work? <clears throat> of course. One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me. Try. Get started. Again! <laughs> already filthy from my trip through the beach, but now your BB has added insult to injury. Just you and me. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BB experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret, on the direct orders 
of President Strand. Bridget? The BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the Cairo network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name or his face. I thought you might. Since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Brian, sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the Chiral Network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. <laughs> Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. tells me your BB isn't performing to spec. We'll have to put your primary mission on hold until we restore its functionality. It's our only Dooms compatible unit. And you're gonna have to deal with more BTs as you head further west. Case in point, Amelie's informed us of a tar belt outside of Edgenot City. A massive region crawling with BTs that Higgs supposedly summoned. And as much as we want you to get her out as soon as possible, you'll have a snowball's chance in hell without your BB. So your first priority is to help Deadman restore it to working order. And since he's on site, maybe the two of you can discuss it in person. Sam, I'm a little busy at the moment, so I hope you don't mind if we stick to Hulk. First. I need you to link up a few preppers in the area so we can increase local chiral density. That's to bolster the connection between BB-28 and its still mother. Then, as I explained earlier, we need to correct your BB's alignment. To facilitate that process, we need to quite literally put some distance between you two. Keep it here while we send you out. If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Fortunately, this plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the Cairo network anyway. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You'll have to earn their trust, bit by bit, job by job. 
Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. Sam? You read me? Um, Lagna? Uh-huh. Calling you via a bridge's dedicated line. I've been asked to carry on in my sister's place and provide you with support. We're all again. One. Forever and always. We still speak, so I shouldn't have any trouble getting up to speed. You back with Bridges then? It's not about that. Never was. It's about what she wants. What we want. And why shouldn't we help you? You helped us. We're all connected now. Agile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked and... Hmm? A delivery? Oh, good. Excellent. Everything appears to be in perfect condition. There's something I've been meaning to ask. Would you help me join the UCA? If me, being a part of it ensures more people get the medical attention they require then it's well worth the hassle. be as young as I once was, but I've still got plenty to offer. Oh, by the way, I came across something I thought you might find useful. You're more than welcome to it. Your deliveries have saved lives. And... As you know, every life that's saved is one fewer BT to deal with. Which in the long run means even more lives are saved. Please, don't give up. No matter how difficult it may become, I implore you. I see you've put another shelter on the network. Nice job. Chiral levels are increasing as predicted, which is good. As for BB-28, you'll be pleased to hear the operation went well. There should be no need for additional major procedures. We're not out of the woods yet, but I think it's safe to say that the worst is behind us. All that remains is to continue expanding the network, monitor changes as chiral levels increase, and make adjustments as necessary. Drug therapy should suffice. Keep it up, Sam. Delivering cargo. Thank you. I was afraid I'd never see it again. Oh, thank God. It looks uh, exactly like it always did. Oh, you don't know what this means to me. It was my father's idea to move all the way out here. He thought he could get to the bottom of the Death Stranding all by himself. And we were right behind him. But look where it got us. If you hadn't come along when you did, the camera would be gone, and all our hard work would have been lost before anyone had a chance to see it. We can't let that happen. The world needs to hear about this. Someone out there will know what it means. So, connect us up. We want to be a part of the UCA.
I truly hope our work will help to make a difference. Thanks again. I hope we get to meet again before too long. Sam, it's Hartman. That camera you recovered contained some fascinating footage. The data stored on it was automatically shared with us after you added the photographer's shelter to the network, along with her father's research materials. Anyway, my lab still doesn't have a high-speed Kyle connection, but I was able to check one of the images against the database at HQ. Based on my preliminary calculations, and the photographic and documentary evidence in our archives, I would estimate the paintings to be in the region of 30,000 years old, if not older. The artists were likely Neanderthals or other precursors who were migrating across the continent. See the dolphin-like creatures there? At the time, the cave would have been situated even farther from the coast than it is now. So how could the artists possibly have encountered dolphins? Answer? They couldn't. It is my belief that they had a brush not with dolphins, but with beach things. And that would mean the Death Stranding is not the first phenomenon of its kind. That it has happened before. Since the birth of our planet, countless species have gone extinct, from bacteria to dinosaurs. Scientists refer to the largest known mass extinctions as the Big Five. But there have, of course, been many other extinction events, albeit on a smaller scale. What if the artists were trying to document one such event, that of their own extinction? It would be the first record in Earth's history of a death stranding. And it would also lend credence to my theories. The sooner you come and connect me to the network, the sooner we'll know. Just imagine the mysteries we'll be able to solve. I'll be waiting, Sam. Wonderful news, Sam. BB-28's vitals are nearly within optimal operating parameters. Just before I called, it opened its eyes. It was looking all over, as if searching for someone. And then, our eyes met. For a moment, I think. I tell you, it was almost enough to make me want to keep the kid for myself. Anyway, I still need to run diagnostics and make adjustments as needed. However, the fluctuating local chiral levels could pose a problem. Think you can bring one more site into the network? Once you have, and once I have subsequently confirmed that BB is functioning reliably, I'll release it into your custody. This is the last step, I promise. Just one more site, that's all we should need. Good luck.
Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Until we meet again, my friend. Sam, it worked. BB-28 is in excellent condition. No evidence of lingering attachments or homesickness either. Perhaps its memory was erased after all. All that remains is for you to hook it up and take it for a run. I was hoping to return it to you as soon as possible, but... Uh, I don't want to. I mean, I do, but it's a little more complicated than that. What? We've got a problem. You may have heard about the massive supercell heading right for Mountain Knot City. I left my facility to perform some additional tests on the BB in the field, and now I find myself unable to return. You know the cabin on the mountainside, northeast of Mountain Knot? Let's meet there.